Even though it might not feel like fall, the leaves will soon be falling off the trees. And in this segment of Going Green, invasive bugs may have had impacts on your trees this summer, but it's not too late to protect them for next year. A lot of times when you're looking for insect pests, you're looking at the underside of leaves. Mike Volts is a tree guy. Little bits missing here and there. You know, various insects chewing or various leaf miners, things like that. And a bug guy. Obviously, Indiana has bugs, including invasive bugs. All counties in Indiana have had a problem with the emerald ash borer. Most common management strategy has been to remove the ash trees as the infestation has been found and the trees started to die. If it is found um, at a time where it could still be treated, um, there are treatment methods that have been utilized and been very successful. The, the larvae feed underneath the bark on the living tissue of the tree, the cambium tissue, um, and they create these galleries that end up killing branches. It usually starts at the top of the tree, um, so you'll see the top of the tree die back. The Japanese beetle is another insect that bugs our Indiana trees. So this is the damage that the Japanese beetles do sort of closer up. You can see how much leaf tissue has been affected. Um, so when a leaf looks like this, it can't really do much. It can't photosynthesize. It's just going to fall off the tree. But this is time to think about getting on a treatment plan for the, the next year. Um, so it doesn't get to this point. And another bug that could be a fly in the ointment for Indiana is the spotted lantern fly. There's spotted lantern fly, which was recently discovered in southeastern Indiana. Um, it's more of a nuisance problem on ornamental trees um, in that when they feed, it rains down this sticky honeydew that can be a nuisance on patio furniture. Um, sidewalks and cars and things like that. So before the leaves fall this autumn, check your trees and bushes and protect them for years to come. But in general, if you look at the overall quality of the tree, the overall quality of the leaf, and the leaf is still able to photosynthesize, the problem's not getting worse. It's not necessarily something to, to worry about. Good information, Kelly. Oh, thanks. Taking that for my own yard now. <laughs>